Breaking ground on land which could yield clues about the human sacrifice of a war which changed the face of Europe. It was in the fields around Mont Saint-Jean that the Battle of Waterloo was fought 200 years ago, a battle which saw Britain and her allies halt the march of Napoleon. Archaeologists have scoured this land for years, but never before has the site of the field hospital, where thousands of wounded soldiers were treated, been penetrated. And it's to this spot that British veterans themselves injured in modern-day conflicts have come to help the search. Matt Weston lost his legs and part of his right arm in Afghanistan. He'll use his drone and photography skills to help catalogue the work. Well, it's, it's, you know, it's quite an honour, really. I mean, I mean, the history of Europe was really forged on this battlefield and we're given permission to go and dig it up. I think it's something that really only the privileged few get to do. And it's, uh, it's remarkable. I'd always liked history, but I, I never really considered it as um, you know, something that I would do. But actually, look, just, just being here is amazing. Getting to meet people that have that background, it's uh, pretty impressive. It's the first one found at this site. Wow, that's um, heavy, isn't it? Early finds include a British musket ball which could kill or cause serious injury, but ground-penetrating radar is being used in the hope of finding medical tools and bones from amputated limbs. It's sobering for wounded veterans of today to think of what the troops in the Battle of Waterloo went through, but they come because military history fascinates them. Ben Mead suffered from PTSD after the helicopter he was travelling in was shot down in Afghanistan. A soldier is a soldier. Regardless, 200 years ago, 300 years ago, you have to say mentality. And from the research I've been doing over the past year, I find the Battle of Waterloo was like the, the last major romantic battle of cavalrymen and infantrymen and cannon fire. And, and I know over time, medical history well, uh, medicals advanced in time, but you just, you do think what went through their mind. As the fighting intensified, more and more injured were brought here to Mont Saint-Jean. It's believed as many as 6,000 men were treated for their injuries on this site and in the farm buildings around. Medicine was primitive, with surgeons forced to operate and amputate limbs without anaesthetic. <laughs> The Waterloo Uncovered project brings together wounded and serving members of the military with leading archaeologists as part of a programme of care and recovery. It's aimed at building confidence and new skills. And those who've seen war can offer a special insight into the discoveries. Very much so. They've, they've seen war. They've seen the elephant, as they say, and I haven't. I've always been a, an archaeologist. I never served. And they can bring a unique experience. They've been under fire in those locations. The early findings are already being carefully catalogued and will help build a picture of what those wounded at Waterloo went through. The military of today helping to tell the stories of those who went before them. Michelle Clifford, Sky News, Belgium.